I've taken you guys on some 100 foot yachts and I think you'll agree they're pretty spacious and I've taken you guys on some big catamarans and I think you'll agree they're pretty spacious. Well imagine, if you will, a 100 foot catamaran. Well imagine no more, this is a Sunreef 100 and it is vast. The space in this is like nothing you've ever seen. So I'm going to take you on board and give you the full tour. We're going to every area on this, it's five cabins. We've also got masses of deck space to show you. We've got mechanical areas to show you. It is a very, very impressive piece of kit. So, we will step on here by the passerelle. Hi there. First thing to mention is this high-low platform. So it's hydraulic, it will drop right down into the water. You can put a seven meter tender on there, really big tender. And of course, that is immediately the first thing you find where you benefit from the incredible beam but where you see it most is when we come up here this is remarkable okay we've got sunbathing back here first of all looking back out across the water absolutely wonderful when you're underway we've also got uh, seating around this table of course these drop down flat so you can sit on this side of it we've got uh, day heads on the outside this is great if you're in swimming and that kind of stuff you can be straight into there that's a very useful thing there is a flybridge, we will of course show you that. We've got a bar area tucked away just in here, so sink, all that kind of stuff, ice maker and so forth. And then over on this side, we've got like a day lounging space, but this is what I most want to show you, because this is huge absolutely huge and the amount that they've got into this is incredible so what you've got basically is different zones so for example there's a lounging zone over here there's a tv that drops down out of the ceiling it's a five cabin layout and i'll show you all of those and those are in the holes on either side but look at this bar area <laughs> it's just immense so as you'd expect you've got wine coolers and uh, you know, all the usual paraphernalia, fridge in there, for example, and so forth. And this has got a seating all the way around. I mean, what a great place to relax with your friends. Just brilliant. Let's cross over. Let's have another look at this lounging space over here. Love the light in the ceiling. That's absolutely gorgeous. And then what else can I show you? Well, how about the gymnasium for a start? <laughs> look at this. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, isn't it? If you're wondering what's behind there, well, that's actually a stairwell down to the lower deck. I'm going to take you around this side first of all before we look at that. So if we come right around here, this glass is this magic glass that can either be frosted or you push a button, it goes clear. And then this is the galley area. So we can come into here, this lovely Belfast sink. And of course, you know, the Miele cooking equipment around the place the hob, all of that kind of stuff. This is refrigeration over here. And the helm station is here as well. There's two of these, another one up on the flybridge. But that is where you helm the boat from on the main deck. Full camera system around the boat so you can monitor everything from the engine spaces to the decks, so forth, communications, navigation, operation of the boat, all that kind of stuff. Very, very impressive. But yeah, the sheer acreage that you get here, well, <laughs> you have to see it to believe it, don't you? Even looking from the outside, you wouldn't expect, I don't think, just such a vast space. Okay, so let's go and have a look at some of the lower levels. I think we'll start over here. Head on down. Got a few other people touring the boat, so hopefully <laughs> we we'll, won't bump into too many people. And the thing I want to show you first of all is the owner's cabin, and that is in here. Now, catamarans typically have quite narrow hulls, and so therefore the cabins that are down inside them are quite narrow. When you get to 100 foot, that is no longer a problem. Look at the width you've got in here, so you can have the bedside on. What's great about that is you've got this view straight out of the hull window here. And this area here is where we can sit and relax. Just fantastic. We'll come back through here. Of course, this is all owner specification. Um, you can have whatever you like, and this owner's gone for this kind of vintage feel with stuff like this and the way that this 
is all done. I think it looks great, very different, very lovely. You see it in here as well with the shower. Look at this. That's pretty cool. If you come across here, this can be, again, whatever you want. It's storage, but you can have hanging lockers here, or you can have shelving here. Configure that how you want. There is another big um, walk-in wardrobe actually in the cabin itself, which is why these are mostly shelves. If we come around here, we've got a sliding door just here, and that then is the toilet. It's all so spacious everywhere, isn't it? Just fantastic. And the intricate details as well, like this sort of vintage style, slightly scuffed looking glass. Obviously it's not, that's just the style of it, but it is impressive. If we come through here, we have got the, um, I'll swap places with you. There we go. That is the walk-in closet. And then if we cross over, this then is one of the guest cabins. There are four guest cabins, plus, of course, the owner's cabin, and then the plus crew cabins as well. But that is remarkable. The amount of floor space that you get here, and as I mentioned, this is what you normally lose with a catamaran. You don't lose it here. There's no compromise. Hanging wardrobes all the way down here. Hanging wardrobes, <laughs> hanging lockers, wardrobes, call them what you will. Let's cross over. And they've continued that theme, that sort of vintage theme with this lovely checker floor. Big shower. And again, that sort of brass effect. Actually, it's a br effect or actually proper brass, but anyway, it looks very lovely. But look at the length down through here. It is dramatic. And again, you've got the big windows, you've got the big opening section, so you can get air into here as well as light. Love these blinds as well. Fantastic. Climate control is here, and light switches as well, of course. Okay, let's come out of that one. Plenty more to show you. We are gonna cross over the boat, which is a bit of a walk from one side to the other because over here is another stairway and this takes us down and we will find two more cabins down here. These are a little smaller and I'll explain why in a moment. So we can go forward into here again with the big windows, again with the floor space, again with the big bed, again with all the storage. You don't get any sense in any of these cabins that any of them are anything other than a VIP spec. Quite often you'll find, you know, big cabins and then a couple of them are a little bit smaller, not here. And again, this massive, massive shower and the, um, the same flooring and everything all done the same. Okay, back across here, storage there. I'm not gonna open it all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know what a wardrobe looks like on the inside by now. Let's come right across here. Same deal. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's fantastic. I think that might be a bit of storage in there. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. You're not short of space, are you? Fantastic. Okay, let's spin on out of here. Little dressing area. I should sit in there. Got your view out the window. Probably working on your laptop or doing your makeup or whatever else you want to do. This door here is another walk in wardrobe. Superb. Okay, let's press on. The reason that that is a little bit shorter than the other side that had that massive owner's cabin is because if we come back a bit now, we're walking across the top of that cabin that we were just in. We're going to loop around here, try to film too many other people, and then we'll find another stairway. Look at this, goes on and on this boat. And this then is another completely separate cabin, all of its own. And I think, I'm not certain, but I think that's probably the smallest cabin. <laughs> and I think smallest is the wrong word. We should say the least enormous, because it is still a really big cabin. We've got AV equipment in here, of course, again, with all the storage, not gonna open it all, but hey, hey, that's what the wardrobe looks like on the inside. <laughs> you were wondering, weren't you? <laughs>
Okay, let's keep on going. Plenty, plenty more to see, including the ensuite, of course, that's in here. And the same theme again. Toilets down there. Shower is in there. Brilliant. Okay, that is, I think, the interior. A lot of deck space to show you, however. So we'll carry on up here. There are a few people on board now, so I'm gonna keep the camera down a little bit and not film people. We'll loop around this way, around the back of the bar. There we go, we can get a view out this way now without filming people. There we go. <laughs> it's actually a long walk around this boat. Okay, we're gonna head forward now. You've got access straight out onto the deck at the front of the boat. You need to go back and round, you can come through here. And what you find here is really comfy seating areas around here. Masses and masses of sunbathing all the way across the front and more seating on this side. This is a really nice place to be when the boat is underway because, well, that's the front of the boat. You can sit there and look out, watch it all going on, see it all coming at you. There are a couple of crew cabins up here. If we go over here, there are three in total. There's these two plus a captain's cabin. And this one, if I just give that a turn. There we go, bear with. There we go, these are actually pretty generous cabins when you get down inside them. Look at this, you've got a bed down over here. We've got this big storage area up around here. These are a good size. And then the toilet. <laughs> We're all right. Is in there. And there'll be a shower as well, I feel absolutely certain. Yeah, that pulls out of the, out of the tap there. So that is that. Let's come back out of there. These are in use, so I don't want to linger. Let's drop that one back down. I'll take you across <laughs> another long walk from one side to the other. You can have bimini poles out here so you can shade this area if you want to. That's the other crew cabin, very similar to the one we just looked at. And then let's take a look down here. In fact, I'm gonna back up first because I wanna show you the color scheme. Again, it's owner specification. And this is what this owner has chosen. The black with the gold. And it looks sensational. Really like that. It's quite a bold choice, I think, but it's a choice that works well. Very nice. Let's head down here. So going back past that main deck, saloon, galley, and everything else area. Look how wide these side decks are. You expect it on the catamaran, but you certainly get it. Okay, we'll come right back here. Loop back around. I didn't mention that there's a garage underneath there. That's where the jet skis live. And then we'll come up here. And this will bring us up onto the flybridge. And again, you are sensing the beam and the space and the facilities that that offers. So bar area is here. We've got the barbecue, of course, the usual bits and pieces that you'd expect in a bar area, fridges and so forth, sink. And then up here, we've got seating right the way across the front of this. Look at this. Another wonderful place to be when the boat is underway because your view from here is that. And that is stunning. Welcome to Palmer Boat Show. If you look up on top of here, you can see the uh, radar, nav kit, all that sort of stuff up on the mast on the top. Remote control searchlight, etc. Let's walk all the way across. There's a helm station here, of course. That's down underneath this cover, so it's the steering wheel and the uh, engine controls, multifunction displays, all that kind of stuff. Again, you're getting these gold accents everywhere. Just fantastic. And as we head on back, well, just look at it. 
vast. So you've got this wonderful little conversation area here. You've got dining for all 10 guests around here. Sunbeds. These have lift sections. You see these slightly smaller sections here lift up like that. So you can lie there, propped up, looking at the wash disappearing over the horizon behind you. Just glorious. And then here is the hot tub. And as big and impressive as everything else on the yacht. Let's come right to the back. There we go. And now you can see uh, satellite communications domes and that mast with a radar and so forth on it. Okay, let's cross here. Past the running machine. <laughs> Doesn't want for much, does it? We'll pause just briefly to take that in again. I like these translucent panels that give you a bit of shade, but let plenty of light in. They're very nice. And then we'll come right on around, back down here. This closes off, that's what this fella here is for. And then we'll come down and we'll take a look at the Indians. So, let's head around here. Here we go. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to be fairly brief in here because we don't want to leave the engine hatch up for too long for obvious reasons we're at a boat show. There's actually a split level engine space so we've got all of the electronics up here and monitoring all that kind of stuff and then we can go down again over here and this is the engine space so we've got MAN engines, there's two of them, one in each hull, 1,300 horsepower each, and they're giving the boat about 17 knots flat out, cruising 10, 11, 12 knots, something like that, and a range of about 3,000 miles. So it's got some serious legs. Generator down here as well, but check out again the size of the engineering spaces in places like this. Look at this, it's absolutely huge. Steering gear is in here, pumps, all that kind of stuff. Um, air conditioning, all that service items like that. Fire suppression is in here. But yeah, that is a serious injury. But I say, we're not going to linger. We're going to press on. There we go. And up again. Look at this vast bathing platform. Perfect, thank you. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So the only thing we haven't seen is the captain's cabin. Is it possible to have a very quick look? Go ahead. First yeah. door on your left when you go. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. So captain's cabin is in here. Hello. Hello. Thank, thank you so much. Here we go. If you are the captain of this fine ship, then you get this. So we've got desk area. You've got monitoring systems for the entire boat. Camera system also repeated down here. Double bed and just checking. Toilet and shower. And all done in the same sort of quality as well, which is nice. That is fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic in the air conditioning controls, light switches. Etc. Okay, let's come back out of there. And I think what we'll do, let's close that one behind us. We'll take a last lingering look at <laughs> this enormity of a main deck. We'll head on through. That's that glass that changes to opaque. Past the gym. Let's come right up back onto the bow. There we go. <laughs> if you're floating, you're boating. 
And that, my friends, is the Sunreef Power 100. That is absolutely magnificent. If you just want space and lots of it, this is the boat for you. Imagine that, parked in a bay, all your friends, anchored in the bay, let's get the terminology right, anchored in the bay with all your friends, you've got your toys out, the jet skis, the tenders, all of that. What a ball you would have with a yacht like this. It would be absolutely phenomenal. Huge thanks to you guys for watching. Huge thanks to Sunreef for organising the tour. Let me know what you think of that one, and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.